And P6 and P7 when you're starting on the on the front row is not exactly a great uh, great start. On board with Ericsson trying to go around the outside of Jolien Palmer, perhaps trying the up and under on the exit. We'll have the outside on Palmer. I think a little bit of contact. Ericsson clearly with the pace at the moment. Again, earlier on the power on the exit, oh, great run enough. from Ericsson. Now alongside Jolien Palmer on the start finish straight, Marcus Ericsson for third place on Jolien Palmer. Who's going to be braver on the brakes? It's Ericsson just in a lovely move from the dam driver, and his teammate nips up the inside and tries to take the position as well. And that's gutsy from Raquelny. So Ericsson makes it past Palmer and a big lock up from the Swede who is on the soft tyres. Of course, Jolien Palmer is on the medium, so we'll be running a longer first stint. Oh, that's great work. Look at them. Look at the boys. Delighted with it. And he comes out. Is it going to be ahead of Marcus Ericsson? A tight run down into turn one. Jolien Palmer will defend from Marcus Ericsson. And Ericsson will retake the lead of this race. Ericsson then gets past Jolien Palmer. But Palmer is now up into second place with fresher tyres and four fresher tyres. That's important. Not just the rears, the fronts as well on Jolien Palmer's car. This is going to be a thrilling 19 lap run to the checker flag. But you see, Palmer is really going to put Marcus Ericsson under pressure. Now you know that in Hungary, you got to be quite a bit quicker to uh, to overtake. He's looking pretty good though. Tucked up underneath Marcus Ericsson, Jolien Palmer. Will he go to make this move early doors? But it looks like he's much much quicker than, than Ericsson. So maybe there at uh, first corner. Yeah, if he can just keep his powder dry through the final turn, get a good exit. Jolien Palmer could very realistically have a run on Marcus Ericsson, and that would be for the de facto race lead. Evans leads, Chicotto second, Trummer's third, Gorelli's fourth. None of them have made a stop yet. He's close. He's had a great exit. Jolien Palmer then in the slipstream of Marcus Ericsson, down the start, finish straight. Is he close enough? Not this time. But Ericsson will be only too aware that Palmer he wants to use that, that the juice of the tire, the freshness of the tires, you know. He's got a couple laps to do so after that. And he's having a look. Side. Up and the inside. Oh, it. come on! That's amazing! Oh, but he's run wide! Jolien runs wide, comes back on track again. I thought that was a phenomenal move, and it was, but just a little bit too much. And Ericsson retakes the lead. So Ericsson and Palmer battling over P1. That was very well executed from uh, from Palmer. And again, you know, out of that corner, you get to think about staying on the left um, for that right-hander, that right king, to make sure he can go flat through it. And, uh, and, and you know, and that's same thing as uh, I believe that was Collado on Rossi earlier on. Same principle of it, you know, just Ericsson staying on the inside, you know, he's, he's thinking about next corner, and, and that's how he gets him. Beautiful move from, from Palmer. Too bad for him, he didn't make it, uh, make it stick. Absolutely, but, uh, just a bit too much pace racing. through that right-hander. Oh, you see, the back he end. clips the, the, the curb a little bit too much, and he's got some bottoming there in the middle, and that's why he's got to go uh, get to go wide. Great save, though. Great save. He's close again. Oh, my word, and look at the back end kicking out on him. Palmer back on Ericsson. Oh, he's closer this time than he was even on the last lap. Jolien Palmer is having one of the races of, well, certainly of the season. Marcus Ericsson, too. You're watching two great drivers battle here. Joe, just calm it down a little bit, Joe. We're playing the long game here. You don't need to overtake in this lap. Play the long game. You think Palmer's listening? I don't. Well, that's 13. Palmer got very, very close up to 14. And Ericsson does appear to be struggling to get on the power coming out of that corner that Palmer's getting very close to him. Yeah, I think it's just a question of uh, tire freshness and uh, Palmer's on the new tires. But he's very close there. It's another great exit from the Carlin driver with Marcus Ericsson leading down the start finish straight. Palmer is close. Has a last minute look, goes up the inside, Jolien Palmer breaks too late, will run deep and wide, and Ericsson retakes that position. So another look up from Jolien Palmer, and he's got to be careful on those tyres. They've got to last for 14 more laps. Jonathan Palmer watches on. Jolien's father, of course, 
boss of Motorsport Vision. It's the MSV logo on the back of Jolien's car. This is great. This is great. And back with the leaders. It's been this close for 10 laps. A phenomenal battle between Marcus Ericsson and Jolien Palmer. On display for you here this afternoon at the Hungara Ring. This is what GP2 is all about. Same car, same tyres, same engine, down to the driver. And Palmer and Ericsson both want that Good win exit today. There. Good Great exit, exit Jerome. Great exit, Jerome. It's two tenths from, uh, from Ericsson, so... Going for it now, up the inside, Jolien Palmer. Temper that braking, temper that braking. Locks up a little, locks up a little, needs to get back on the power. Side by side now with Ericsson, and Ericsson just gets the back kicking out on him, but Palmer will have the inside for turn three for the lead of the race for Jolien Palmer. Ericsson trying to keep him steady on the outside, but Palmer's got him, finally. Jolien Palmer makes the move on Marcus Ericsson. That had been coming for some time, but my word, did he have to work for it. Yeah, Ericsson opened the door there. I guess he should have known that uh, he was going to attack uh, at the first corner. He was very close. He, did, he was looking, see? You know, didn't he moved the a door. little, but not enough. Yeah, clearly not enough. He didn't break enough as well. You know, wanted to cut him back too quickly. Whoa! Did they, they touch it? A little there. bit. Wow. And here, Ericsson trying to get back up the inside, but Palmer, and again, a good catch from Palmer. Jolien Palmer, sir, bravo, that was an incredible drive to take the win here at the Hungaro Ring, and I don't think Naz is going to find a way past Marcus Ericsson. Ericsson somehow has held on, uh, Naz will have to take third. That somehow is a uh, Chicoto, that's for sure. Uh, I think that uh, Nasser was all over Ericsson, great race from Marcus, from Nasser. And from Palmer, but uh, without without you know Chicoto for two laps uh, disturbing that fight, I think it would have uh, it could have turned out different. Now again, Chicoto didn't do anything wrong, but um, no, we clearly, must, we must clearly, say he know. did nothing wrong. He was well within his rights. Well, then, Joe, that's a really really super job, mate. We're all really thrilled for you here. Cracking job. I do need you to do one more job for me. That is plenty of pickup on the way in and cool everything down for me. Cracking job. Cheers, boys. Right, 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 right.